वेलकम टू लोगो कार्ड डॉट कॉम एंड इन दिस सेशन दैट वी विल टीच यू मोशन डिटेक्शन सेंसर सो व्हाट हैपन इन दिस सो यू कैन से दिस द पीआर सेंसर दैट्स द मोशन डिटेक्शन सेंसर सो इन दिस दिस द एरिया व्हिच इज द रेंज ऑफ द पीआर सेंसर सो इफ आई मूव इन दिस एरिया दैट टाइम द बजर विल बज दैट मींस दिस पीआर सेंसर इज ऑब्जर्विंग माय बॉडी इंफ्रारेड हीट so first we'll see what all the components we required for this project so first we need is arduino uno and arduino usb cable and arduino software and the second thing we need is the pir sensor and third thing we need is a buzzer and the fourth thing we need is a 9 volt battery and the fifth we need some connecting wires so now we'll have a close look of each and every component so first i will take a pir sensor So PR sensor is a passive infrared sensor, which is like which is made up of the Fresnel lens and the infrared sensor and some detective circuitry. So what like it's having a range of six to seven meters. So the first the first pin the first pin is the VCC pin. That means the voltage pin, and the second pin is the data pin. That's the output pin, and the third pin is the ground pin. Okay, so now we come towards the buzzer. The buzzer is having two pins. That is the positive, and the one is negative. The big pin, this is a positive one, and the small pin is the ground. So now we'll see how to connect this component to the Arduino. So first we'll take a PIR sensor. As I told you, the PIR sensor is having three pins: the V, uh, VCC, the output pin, and the ground pin. So this VCC pin is connected to the The five volt of my Arduino, and this ground pin of this PIR sensor is connected to the ground of my Arduino, and this data pin, this data pin is connected to the digital pin number two of my Arduino. So this was the connection between PIR sensor and the Arduino. So now we'll connect the buzzer to the Arduino. So as, as I told you, buzzer is having two sides. This is a positive and a negative. So this positive, so positive will be connected to the digital pin number thirteen of my Arduino. and this negative will be connected to the ground of my arduino so this all the connections so if you don't want to give a supply from the usb cable so that time you can use a 9 volt battery where the positive terminal is connected to the uh, vin of the arduino and the negative terminal is connected to the ground of the arduino so this is all about the connection so now we'll move towards the programming part as you can see in this program in void setup i have taken two pin mode pin mode 2 and pin mode 13 And pin mode two is input, and pin mode thirteen is output. As I told you in the connection, the PIR sensor is having the output pin, that's the data pin, which is connected to the digital pin number two of my Arduino. Means it gives some data to my Arduino, input to my Arduino. Now coming to void loop, so what happened here is, like when my PIR sensor is high, that time my buzzer should buzz. So I have taken one if condition here. In if condition. This digital read two is equal to is equal to high means when my PIR sensor is high means it's detecting some motion that time my buzzer should buzz so inside this bracket I have taken digital read thirteen comma high that means when my PIR sensor is high my buzzer will buzz and also I have taken here as uh, else if condition means when PIR sensor is low means when PIR sensor is not detecting any motion that time my buzzer should not buzz. So in, inside this bracket, I have taken digital write thirteen comma low, and the curly bracket close. So this was a so simple program for this project. Now coming towards the live project. Now coming to the live project. This is how the live model look like. So in this video, you can see that when the person enter inside the room, that time the PIR sensor detects a motion. So that time the buzzer buzz. So when he go outside, that means the buzzer is off. So you can see it in the video. For more and more videos please like and subscribe our channel that's robocard